This woman aimed for the perfect wedding with family, friends, and a loving boyfriend in attendance, but her dog had different plans. Despite everyone being ready, her dog persistently pulled at her dress, sinking his teeth in and refusing to let go. The bride, initially frustrated, later discovered the reason behind her dog's behavior, leading her to burst into tears. Elise and her dog Rufus had shared a long history, having been together since high school. They were inseparable, but things changed when Elise entered college and met Victor, the man of her dreams. As she juggled her love and attention between the two men, Rufus remained calm and collected. However, a week before the wedding, Rufus's demeanor shifted dramatically. The incident occurred when Elise tried on her wedding dress, a week prior to the big day. The dress, tailored perfectly for her, made her feel like a princess with its silk fabric and pearl inlays. Excited, she turned to Rufus, seeking his opinion. Instead of a positive response, Rufus reacted unexpectedly by grabbing the dress with his teeth. Alarmed, Elise screamed in panic and scolded Rufus, but the damage was already done. With his tail between his legs, Rufus stepped back, leaving a nasty tear at the bottom of the beautiful princess dress. Elise stepped out of her dress, gazing at the torn fabric with tears in her eyes. Why, Rufus? Why have you done this, she questioned, wiping a single tear away. Realizing that Rufus couldn't provide an answer, she knew she had to get the dress fixed. The next morning, after dropping off her dress at the clothing repair shop, Elise tried to shift her focus to the future. Despite the dress mishap, she had something enjoyable planned for the day, horse riding, her favorite pastime. Arriving at the ranch, she observed the blonde steeds prancing in the meadow. Rufus always accompanied her on these horse riding days, as he loved the expansive landscapes of the ranch. More importantly, Rufus had a great rapport with horses, putting them at ease with his calm and collected demeanor. However, this time was different. Rufus was acting erratically and out of character. Whenever Elise attempted to ride off with her horse, Rufus blocked their path, barking loudly and making it impossible to move forward. Perplexed, Elise eventually dismounted, realizing Rufus wasn't going to relent. She couldn't understand why Rufus would behave so intensely all of a sudden. Disappointed, she grabbed Rufus's collar and headed back home. Driving home, Rufus happily wagged his tail in the back seat. Elise was greatly confused by her dog's behavior. Was it a lack of exercise or something else? After a long walk with Rufus in the park, Elise returned home, hoping that his odd tendencies had disappeared. Unfortunately, Rufus would strike again on the last night before her wedding. That night, Elise had planned a fun gathering with friends, intending to have drinks and snacks reminiscent of the old days. It wasn't an everyday occurrence for their best friend to get married, so celebrating this joyous occasion on her last night as a single woman was a must. Elise spent hours preparing everything for the celebration. As the doorbell rang, signaling the arrival of her friends, the soon-to-be bride walked up to the front door, greeting them with a broad smile. Come in, lovely people. Everything is ready. Let's have a fun night, she exclaimed, laughing. However, the festivities took an unexpected turn when a loud noise emanated from the living room, followed by the shattering sound of glass shards. Elisa's friends collectively asked, what was that? But Elise didn't need to guess, she knew exactly what had happened and who was responsible. Without saying anything to her friends, she instinctively turned around and rushed toward the living room. There, she found the havoc she had unfortunately anticipated. The coffee table, with its complete drink setup, had been flipped over and now lay flat on the living room floor. The room was a mess, and Rufus stood nearby, wagging his tail happily. Elise wondered if the dog was proud of what he had done. The last few days had made Rufus unrecognizable to her, and she couldn't comprehend what was going on. Disappointed but determined to salvage the evening, Elise picked up the pieces from the ground and tried to continue the night with her friends. 
However, Rufus kept interfering, demanding attention. Eventually, Elise had enough and decided to bring Rufus to Victor, who was watching a movie in the upstairs bedroom. Lock him in here, please, Elise begged her boyfriend after the get-together had ended. As Elise waved her last friend goodbye, she walked upstairs and shared the story of Rufus's strange behavior with Victor. He, too, seemed confused. This isn't the first time this week. Should we hire a dog trainer? I'm getting totally stressed out, Elise said. Sayan Victor placed his hand on Elise's shoulder to calm her down, suggesting that a nice warm bath might help. Elise agreed, thanked her boyfriend for his calming words, ran a bath, and stepped into the water. However, during her 30-minute bath, she kept hearing Rufus barking excessively. After her bath, Elise walked over to her boyfriend, Victor, and thanked him for the suggestion. She asked why Rufus was barking so loudly. Victor replied that he didn't know, Rufus was just standing in the middle of the living room barking upwards for no apparent reason. Little did they know that Rufus had a good reason for all his behavior, and they would find out why on the day of the wedding. On the day of the wedding, Elise woke up well rested but nervous. She looked forward to marrying Victor but hoped everything would go smoothly. Despite all the strange occurrences over the past week, she desperately wanted Rufus to behave on this important day. She told Rufus that the day had to be perfect and asked for his help. Rufus looked at her with sweet, water-filled eyes, giving Elise confidence that he would behave. However, she had no idea what awaited her on this day. Before the wedding even had a chance to start, Rufus had already ruined a crucial moment. Elise stepped out of her car and walked over to the venue, a beautiful mansion with rose gardens all around. The weather was great, and Rufus initially behaved like a true gentleman, walking beside her with calm and collected strides. However, everything was about to change. Right before entering the venue, Rufus's calm steps quickened, and he moved around frantically. As Elise was about to enter the building, the silence was shattered by loud barking. Before she knew it, Rufus had pressed his teeth into her dress again, pulling hard at the seam. Despite the dress being fixed just before the wedding day, Rufus couldn't resist his urge to intervene. Elise was initially very happy with the work her tailor had done on her dress. However, almost at the exact same spot where the tailor had fixed it, Rufus managed to create a new tear. Elise was furious and shouted for Rufus to go away. She looked at her dress and started weeping, whispering to herself, I can't get married like this. Distressed, she rushed inside and hurried to her dressing room as quickly as possible, wondering how she could fix this in such a short amount of time. Upon arriving at the dressing room, Elise was surprised to find her aunt already sitting there. The older woman had intended to surprise her niece by doing her hair and makeup for the special day. Instead of a happy bride, she saw a crying Elise walk in. What's up, girl? her aunt asked. Elise explained all of Rufus's wrongdoings over the last week and showed her aunt the tear in her dress. Fortunately for Elise, her aunt was the support she needed at this point. The older woman pulled Elise toward her, assuring her that everything would be fine and that they could fix it together. Elise nodded nervously in reply. Her aunt invited her to sit down and followed it up with an odd but welcome suggestion, you know what really helps me when I'm feeling stressed out? A nice sip of bourbon. Just something to take the edge off. She reached inside her bag, took out a small bottle, and grabbed a glass from the cabinet, placing it on the table in front of Elise. After a gentle pour, Elise picked up the glass to take a tiny sip. However, right before she could do so, a noise was heard from outside the doorway. The sound intensified, and seconds later, they saw Rufus rush into the room. Elise thought, not again, as she observed her dog moving around wildly. Rufus sat down in front of Elise and started barking loudly. She reached out with her spare hand, attempting to calm her dog down, but then, Elise was unable to calm down Rufus no matter what she tried. 
Rufus kept barking intensely, filling the room with his energy. What is it, Elise, she shouted before taking a sip. Right before the glass touched her lips, Rufus jumped up, knocking the glass out of her hands. The glass fell, spilling bourbon all over the floor. Elise explained to her aunt that it was just like last week when Rufus ruined her friend's night. Why would you do such a thing, Rufus? Elise shouted, looking at her aunt, who seemed puzzled. Elise asked her aunt what she meant by that. Her aunt remained quiet for a while, but when she started talking, she revealed something shocking. She explained that she recognized this behavior, her own dog acted the exact same way when she got pregnant years ago, Elise was in total shock after hearing those words. Pregnant? How do you mean, she replied in total confusion. Could this really be the reason? She couldn't be pregnant, right? The young bride felt tears well up in her eyes as she looked at her trusted friend. At least his aunt advised her to stay put, she would go out and get a pregnancy test as soon as possible to know for sure. I'll be back in 10 minutes tops. Don't move, and especially don't drink the bourbon, she said, awkwardly smiling. The situation quickly got bizarre. Her aunt wasn't lying because, in exactly 10 minutes, she was back in the room. There was a drugstore close by, and luckily, they sold pregnancy tests. Elise went to the bathroom, peed on the blue stick, and to her surprise, the device showed a plus sign, it was positive. Elise was speechless. She and Victor had wanted a baby together and had been trying for some time. After multiple failed attempts, they decided to put it on hold for a while. Somehow, it just happened this time. But how could Rufus have known? Elise asked her aunt, who told her that her dog noticed it too, way before she realized she was pregnant. Dogs possess an inherent intuition for these matters, Elisa's aunt inquired, urging her to recap the peculiar events of the past week so they could unravel their significance together. As Elise began sharing, clarity emerged. Commencing with a torn dress, she recounted a week that included horseback riding, a night of food and drinks, and a bathtub incident, odd occurrences that individually lacked coherence. However, when woven together, a smile of understanding spread across her aunt's face. Elisa's aunt expounded on the significance of the moments. Horseback riding is typically discouraged during pregnancy, and scented bath oils are known to pose risks to a developing unborn child. Moreover, the taboo of alcohol consumption during pregnancy became evident. Rufus, the observant dog, seemed to sense Elisa's impending motherhood, acting as a protector for the unborn child. Moved by the revelation, Elise burst into tears, realizing the miraculous connection between her and Rufus. Expressing apologies to Rufus, Elise acknowledged his protective instincts. Their friendship rekindled, but before the wedding ceremony, Elise decided to break the conventional rule and visit her fiancé. With Rufus by her side, they hurried through the hallways of the mansion, sharing the joyful news with Victor. Overwhelmed with emotion, they embraced Rufus, bringing an extra layer of happiness to the impending wedding. During the toast at the ceremony, Elise and Victor shared the news with family and friends, giving credit to their remarkable dog. Despite the turbulence of the week, the culmination was immensely rewarding. Elise and Victor were married, and their gratitude towards Rufus deepened. Rufus, in turn, rejoiced, knowing that he would soon welcome a new sibling. It was a remarkable beginning for their shared journey. Let's continue. With the development of society and the continuous advancement of industrialization, the development of natural resources by humans has caused the destruction of wild animal habitats and the loss of natural resources. Many wild animals have been displaced, and the health of forests has been irreparably damaged. You must know, the forest is not just a bunch of trees, but a complete ecosystem. The existence of trees is only a carrier to ensure the energy circulation of the forest and release oxygen to maintain the life of all animals. 
If a large number of trees are destroyed, then the local ecosystem will be seriously damaged. Therefore, humans should put the protection of nature first. Protecting nature is equivalent to protecting wild animals. With such a little bear quietly approaching this woman, why would animals approach humans on their own initiative? What surprises will happen next? The destruction of the ecosystem is usually accompanied by the loss of the homeland on which the animals rely for survival, and it becomes even more difficult to obtain food. When the animals' cubs are in danger or are in a state of starvation, they are often aggressive. It's their nature. Wild bears living in the wilderness are usually dangerous and are for their own defense. In fact, their nature is kind. When they can't find food, they usually go to residential areas. They forage near human settlements, like some small towns or around the garbage dumps of resorts, you can occasionally see small wild animals. It is conceivable that these wild animals are so smart. Although animals invade human territory, they do not hinder them at all. Even some human beings will generously take out fresh food and give it to them so that they can get more food than they forage in the wild. Some people worry that this will destroy the food chain. In fact, no, only a few people can help animals, and most people still treat wild animals at arm's length. Everyone knows that bears are omnivorous wild animals, mainly eating plants and insects, because such food is easier for bears to obtain. If bears encounter small wild animals that threaten them, they will also eat them. The fish in the river has always been the bear's favorite, because once their body sits in the middle of the stream, it will block the river so that they can catch the fish more easily. Bears are also very smart animals. When it is difficult for them to obtain food, they will seek help from nearby humans. They will go where there are people for help. Such a cute bear has a magical story with humans. This story takes place in a picturesque place. There is a dense forest in the east of Russia. It was a spring, when everything was revived, and all animals and plants exuded vigorous vitality. There was a river not far from the forest, the local residents often fish in the river. Honey fungus and various fruits grow near the river. Villagers often come to the river to get delicious food, Mariana is a villager who lives near this forest. Since her husband passed away, she has lived a poor life alone. In order not to make life so sad, Mariana still lives strong. Every day she will follow other villagers come to fish and gather food near this river. On this day, Mariana came to the river again. In order to go back before sunset, she immediately engaged in food picking activities as soon as she arrived near the river. The other villagers returned early with food, and only Mariana still preparing to start fishing near the river, she found an open place with almost no trees or bushes, because she had a wide view and could see the surrounding movements at a glance. Mariana took out the fishing rod and bait that had been prepared in advance, and filled a bucket of water to store the fish caught. Near sunset, the river began to rise, and the number of fish gradually increased. Mariana was immersed in the joy of fishing. After about 10 minutes, there were already several trout splashing in the bucket. Today is really with a lot of harvest, Mariana couldn't hide the joy in her heart and cheered unconsciously. During her fishing time, Mariana was immersed in it, and she had long forgotten that she was near a dangerous forest, this forest is often haunted by wild animals. By the time she realized it, the sun had already set. Mariana hurriedly packed her equipment and packed today's food, and was about to return to the village. Just as she was about to leave, she hearing the rustling sound coming from behind her, she is scared. After turning around, she was surprised to find that a cute baby bear was standing behind her at some point. Mariana guessed that this cub probably came here from the forest after smelling the food, the baby bear stared at the fish in the bucket full of longing. It must have been hungry for a long time, but the baby bear usually would not leave its mother's side. Mariana guessed that the mother bear must be nearby. 
For the necessary trouble, Mariana threw the fish in her bucket to the baby bear, and also gave it some of the fruits she picked. The baby bear took the food given by Mariana and did not eat it that it carried the food to the forest. This doesn't seem like the character a bear should have. Out of curiosity, Mariana was going to follow up to find out. In order not to be discovered, she followed the baby bear far away. After a while, the cub stopped in a thick bush and walked in. Mariana found that there seemed to be a clearing deep in the bushes. She came to the depths of the bushes, but the sight in front of her surprised her. An adult bear was lying on the ground. It's having trouble breathing and looks weak. The baby bear put the food next to the bear. It seemed that this was the mother bear. The mother bear picks up the food and begins to eat with difficulty. Mariana guessed that this bear should have been persecuted by hunters, fortunately, this bear had its child to find food for her. Mariana was touched by the behavior of this baby bear. She had only heard of the love that human have for their parents, she did not expect that animals have the same affection for their mothers. Mariana looked at the poor pair of bears in front of her, and decided to give them all the food harvested today. She cautiously came to the baby bear. The baby bear found her and thought she was going to hurt her mother. Baby bear let out a howl. Mariana tried her best to appease the baby bear, put all her food on the ground, and then took a few steps back. The baby bear seemed to sense that Mariana wanted to help it, and slowly relaxed its guard, and brought all the food to its mother, gobbling it while feeding the food to mother. Mariana looked at the scene in front of her with relief. She turned around and hurried back to the village, notified the local animal protection center to rescue the injured mother bear, and prayed in her heart that the mother bear would recover soon. Since ancient times, there have been many stories praising the filial, but the family relationship between animals is also touching. All things have spirits. We must treat all animals equally. We must not only try our best to protect wild animals, but also respect their habits. Do not destroy their living environment at will. Only in this way can we jointly build a harmonious nature.